yo what is going on y'all it's your boy Vail back with another mobile legends tips and tricks video and we're going to be talking about why Hilda isn't useful or viable in this current meta so I did my last video where we did an experiment and she actually got destroyed as a fighter and everybody was saying she's a much better tank um, she's better if you build her as a hybrid and stuff like that so I really wanted to break down why she's not viable no matter what way you spin it and basically the reason behind that is basically goes down to the basics of MOBAs in general and games like League of Legends, Dota, anything. So basically when you're selecting a hero, you're basing a hero, you're um, selecting a hero based on the value that they bring to the game. When you're picking a hero, you're picking that hero so the hero does a specific job. When you grab a tank, what do you want that tank to be able to do? You want that tank to be able to support the team. You want that tank to be able to take a bunch of damage. Now, yes, if you build Hilda very, very tanky and you sit in bushes all game, then yes, she's going to be freaking difficult to take out. But even still, if you do build Johnson up, if you build Johnson, he's going to be even harder to take out even still. Like at all times, he's not limited to being in a bush. He's difficult to take out at all times. Then when it comes to supporting the team, how does Hilda support the team? She has an ability that dives on people. Her ultimate basically slams down on people. That's not supporting the team. That's a damage ability. Then she has like a um, she has another ability that just jumps on people. That's not really supporting the team either. That's a damage based ability. Like all of her abilities are meant to deal damage to people. And then on the other hand, you have a tank like Johnson, and everything about him is just tanky. It's good. It's like he's a true tank. So not only can he take more damage than Hilda. But he also has stuns, he has slows, he has a way for his entire team to escape, or a decent amount of teammates to escape, and he can support his team, he can get his team together and chase people down. Like if somebody's getting ganked on the other side of the map, he can grab somebody who's closest to him, drive him to the other side of the map and stop that guy. He has so many different ways he can support his team, so when you put some a true tank like Johnson next to Hilda, she just really stands no chance. Now, yeah, of course, you can make any hero do a little something. You can make any hero be a little viable. But I'm talking about, like, who you're going to be able to help your team with the most. When you're playing the game, you shouldn't be looking at the, the ways that you can make, try to force her to be viable. Like, when it comes down to it, if you want to go um, the full tank route, you're just better off going Johnson. Jo Johnson brings more value. And that's the only tank we're going to get into. But you can actually go, da go down the list of tanks. And compare what Hilda brings to the table because honestly all she brings to the table is she can take some damage if you build her like a tank if she stays near bushes she can take a little bit more damage that's the only value she brings every other tank can take damage just like Hilda if you build it if you build them the right way and also they they bring more value that actually supports the team in other ways like hooking people over like um sucking people in and pushing them towards the team like Literally, you can take anybody. Like, um, Minotaur freaking bounces on the ground and shakes everybody up. Like, we don't have to go into the specifics of everybody, but literally every other tank adds value to the team. Hilda do just does not fit in the category as a tank. She does not bring the same type of value that every other tank brings. Now, with the with our experiment, we saw she doesn't bring the type of power that every other um fighter brings. Like, she got taken out by Bane. Like, she, she doesn't bring the same power that every other fighter brings, so she doesn't really work well within the fighter realm. Now, a lot of people are saying build her as a hybrid. Why would you want to use um, Hilda as a hybrid when you can use Chow? Chow can deal more damage. He can sustain, like, pretty much evenly as her, especially outside of bushes. Outside of a bush, she's going to go down quicker than Chow. Chow is very difficult to take down because he can jump around, bounce around, and move. Like, he moves like crazy. And then he can kick people into towers and stuff and then he can go under towers and dive someone without taking a bunch of damage like he just he's more mobile like that's one of the reasons that chow is better like there's better hybrids than um than than um hilda like no matter how you build hilda you can get more value out of using another hero you build her as a tank if you build her as a tank you might as well go johnson if you build her as a fighter you might as well go bane literally if you build her as a hybrid you might as well go chow like, all three of those heroes I just named bring more value to a game than Hilda does. So, yeah, Hilda is a cool hero. I definitely, like, it's, this is not like a bunch of hate towards Hilda or anything. She just does not fit in the current meta. She needs some buffs. She needs to be changed. She needs to 
bring more value to some area like is she supposed to be a fighter is she supposed to be a hybrid is she supposed to be a tank i don't know what she's supposed to be right now because she's not the best at anything she's not really good at anything to be completely honest with you i mean i can sort of i can sort of kind of see her fitting within the hybrid type of thing but like i said as long as chow is better why would i waste my time picking her as a hybrid over chow and if you say um Maybe don't pick her over Chow. Maybe you pick her in conjunction with Chow. Pick her with another tank. Pick her with another fighter. Why would you have? Why, why should you pick someone that you have to pick with a? You gotta have a babysitter. You, you shouldn't have a hero that needs to be babysat. Like if you got somebody who's supposed to do a job, you, they're supposed to be able to do that job. Like if if I go if I go and try to get a job at Burger King or something, I I have to be the one flipping the burgers. I can't just come and bring somebody with me. Who, who can flip the burgers or help me flip the burgers at all times outside of training no one's going to hold your hand and help you the entire time if you can't sustain on your own then you're you're not you can't really do your job you have to be able to do your job on your own like the, the team is supposed to complement one another the team you shouldn't need one another or, or else you're useless and that's basically where we're at with Hilda. And that's why I don't think that she's viable in the current meta. But let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Like I said, this is just my opinion. These are some of the things that I've seen. And this is the perspective that I've gotten from my experience playing different MOBAs and different games in general. Like even games like um Overwatch. It, it actually has a very similar meta to um Mobile Legends, if you um, can believe it or not. But it, it's all about how you see things and how you understand things. And I actually just, I see things differently. I like to analyze the core things the similarities and stuff like that and it actually that's actually what makes me improve as a player so yeah that's that's one of the things that i really wanted to point out when talking about um this new hero hilda because yeah she just does not bring as much value as the rest of the heroes the rest of the um people who play the same role as she she was supposed to be playing so yeah let me know what you all think in the comment section down below do you agree do you disagree and explain why or why not let me know in the comment section what you all think but that's pretty much it for this video i just really wanted to um let you all know what i've been thinking about since you all were commenting on the last video and a lot of people had some um questions and concerns and was wondering why I think the things that I do. So yeah, I just wanted to break that down for you all. Let me know your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Drop a thumbs up if you support the channel. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one, man. Peace out.